start with you, Brandon. Does Brady have any excuse now not to dominate with the weapons he's currently surrounded with? Everyone says that uh, Tom Brady doesn't have weapons. He's always had weapons. So we say Randy Moss, Julian Edelman, Gronkowski. Come on. And a stable Thank of running you. backs. I think the standard Thank has you. already been set for Tom Brady. No matter where he would have went, whether it was Washington, even Jacksonville, Cleveland Browns, the standard is for him to win no matter who he plays with or where he's at. So this doesn't change anything. This is a big deal for Leonard Fournette. This is a great fit. So for some reason, and things in Jacksonville from the start was a little rocky. Like it just didn't mesh well there. And when you take a guy like this with this type of skill set and the mindset, which is most important, the mentality, he needs to have structure, he needs to have discipline, and he has to respect the guys that's calling the plays and the guys he's playing with. So this could be a huge opportunity for Leonard Fournette to get his career back on track. I mean, this is a guy that can easily go for 1,500 yards. This is a guy that's going to open up mm. everything for, for the receivers. If I'm in a running back room, maybe I'm a little salty, I'm a little sour, because now you know my, my carries, my touches are cut in half. But if I'm a wide receiver, I'm standing on the table, I'm jumping for joy because now you have to put eight men in the box if this guy's getting off. You have to, you can't roll coverage to me anymore. You can't play cover two, you can't play quarters. So now I get one on one, and that is the dream. So I'm telling you guys right now, it's going to be an even bigger year for Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Here's the thing if he's that player that you're describing, then obviously this is can great be. for Brady. This is great, great, right. If, if he even can be, though, because at sometimes the league, you know, the, the NFL is very cagey with information. Certain coaches, you know, they get mad if someone even tweets what play they run at practice. But sometimes the league just tells you exactly what they think. And when a guy is available to the entire NFL via waivers for a – Decent price of $4.1 million, and the whole league says, nope, not worth it. To me, that speaks to the fact the league does not think Leonard Fournette can be, forget a 1,500-yard rusher, that they're skeptical he can be a 1,000-yard rusher. And I know he was last season hmm. in Jacksonville as a, as a bit of a workhorse for a team but that's not that didn't have a great passing game. Nick. Go ahead. That's not 100% true because when you, when you hit the waiver wire, like – you can dictate where you go. There's been so many times where I looked at teams and said, please don't call me. Don't even, don't even approach my, 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 my general manager. Don't even approach my head coach because I'm not even going to consider it. So behind the scenes, his agent, Kim from Rock Nation, she could have easily been on the phone telling these guys, please don't, please don't call. We're not considering it. We're, we're not going to show well, up because they knew exactly where they wanted to go. Possibly. Well, that and if that did happen, Wilds, it's a big bet on himself because if someone claims him, his salary's a little over four million. As it is, it's two million. Now it can be three and a half if he hits all his incentives, but that's two million dollar base salary on a team, Wilds. That yeah. I'm not convinced he's going to be the feature back. I know he believes he is. That's why he put that Instagram up where he's wearing number 27 when that's Ronald Jones's number. But it's hard to blame him for that because Tom Brady set the precedent of just stealing guys' go. numbers with no Hold apology on, he took and no the jersey whatsoever. already. He got the jersey already. Well, I don't already. know. I mean, I don't, I don't know if he got it. I, I, he thinks he got it, but he's learning from the GOAT, Tom Brady. The, the GOAT just deboed Chris Godwin for his number. Couldn't That's even buy him a car shot. or nothing. No, so, the GOAT you know, asked. Stop saying that. The GOAT asked no. for the number. Oh. Oh, well, I mean, listen, again, I, I've had a lot of calls from Tampa saying, Nick, keep harping on this Brady Godwin beef story because it's an underreported thing in the national spotlight. So I just worry, Wilds, that Fournette and Ronald, and Ronald Jones are not getting off on the right foot here. That's all I'm saying. See, you're, I think you're – look, before we get to Fournette, you're hurting the integrity of the show, and this is just directly to the audience. Look. 99.9% .9 of the things that Nick Wright says that aren't just outrageous opinions are factually correct. This one is a bold-faced lie. He's talking about reports. He's getting called. This one is a but lie. Wilds, Everything it's else not is true. a lie if he this, believes this it. This one is a lie. Oh, my goodness. Listen, here's the thing about Fournette. If I'm the Bucks, I'm, I'm like, what I'm I would look around and say, hey, 
You know, <laughs> I was like, you know who's the worst uh, yard sport per carry in the league? It was us, the old Tampa Bay Bucks. Not only were we throwing a lot of interceptions, we also weren't running the ball very well. So I would go and say, like, hey, let's let's put a few uh, casino chips on the old roulette wheel. Let's try LaShawn McCoy. Let's draft a running back. Let's bring in Fournette. Yeah, he only had three touchdowns, but he did go for 1,100 yards. The other thing is, now he can catch the ball. The previous two years, he had 58 receptions. Last year, it went up to 76. So if I'm Tom Brady, I wake up, I have 20 ounces of electrolyte water, which I guess is very good and keeps you young. And I say, great, another weapon. To me, if I'm Tom Brandon, I also like that my management is not satisfied with the status quo. If they see an opportunity, they're going to go get it. So I, I'm, I'm all smiles if I'm Brady this morning. Well, before we talk about X's and O's, let's go back to this jersey thing, Nick. Like, Thank why you. do you keep oh, saying no. this? Who, who's getting... Where are these reports coming from? What guys are telling you this? Because if Tom Brady walks in your locker room and he asks for the jersey, you give him your jersey and your jock strap. It's Tom Brady. Okay. You don't think he's going to give yeah, up the jersey? Yeah, yeah, actually yeah got you do all that. And uh, you do all that, That's and you expect him to then give you a, a Rolex or a car, not a handwritten thank you note and six free months to the TV12 subscription service. <laughs> so, I mean, that's all I'm saying. Tom is not and that so cheap. Now, Tom, I don't you know, made way too much I, I, money. Give the man something. Exactly no, right. No, Tom has to Thank give this you. guy something. I appreciate <laughs> yes. it. He gave him nothing. Yeah, he gave him nothing for his number. Nothing. But sorry, go ahead. Talk about Fournette. <laughs> Wilds doesn't like this story. Brandon... No. Brandon, let me ask you a question. The other day you God. talked about how comfortable Drew Brees is with number 13, number 41, number 41, 13. He knows his people. He knows his weapons. He is, it's instinctual. He knows the way they moves, all of it. Tom Brady is sort of similar. He had Gronk. He had Elman. He's very comfortable with those. Is it, I guess what I'm saying, is it possible that there are almost too many weapons? He's already on a new team with guys he hasn't really played with or had a connection with. There has been no preseason no real question. OTAs or anything, just a small amount of camp. Yeah. But now you're telling him, here's a new guy, no, and here's Tom a new guy, and here's a new guy. Go make it work. How does that happen? How does that work? No, Tom, Tom's, Tom's on the other end of the spectrum from Drew. Drew, everything needs to look the same. Drew has procedures. Drew has rituals. Tom Brady does too, but when he hits that field, it's about can this guy plug and play. Outside of Edelman, outside of Gronk, they're bringing guys in and out. You know, you saw they brought in Sanu. Now they, 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 they traded for him, gave up a sec second round. Then they let him go. They do this all the time. This is, this is up his wheelhouse. Like, Tom Brady is used to having different pass catchers come in, different running backs come in. Now, I will say this. If I'm Tom Brady, I'm excited because come November, December, you have a guy that you can rely on. You have a guy that you could possibly hand the ball off on first down and second down and can carry the load for you. So I think everyone should be excited here, but I'm not worried about Tom because it comes down to the system with him. When it's one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to my outside guys. Play action, I'm going to Gronk. One high, got Gronk going down the seam, I'm going to Gronk. Red zone, where is Mike Evans? Where is Gronkowski? So now you have this running back. It's all about can these guys plug and play? Can they, do they fit? our scheme. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.